I need to get hold of a good car. Something that won't break down on me. And then I can go down and see my daughters and my grandkids. Les's daughter and her family live 1,500 kilometres away in Adelaide. Hi. How are you going, Tracy? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. He last visited them two years ago. Hey, little Lucy. Little Miss Chatterbox is suddenly a little shy. Oh. She doesn't recognise you, Dad. Well, I'm going to have to get down and see you soon so you know me better. How's that? I can't get down there with the old car. It's uh, not going real well. I know, Dad. We, we, I know you'll get down when you can. We miss you a lot. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We love you. Love you. Old Les, oh, I know he misses his daughters and he, he doesn't like not seeing his grandkids, that's for sure. <sighs> They mean a lot to him, and it's, it's hard just living so far away. Oh, mate, we got a real problem. The, the weight has come down on the roof. The column we got on this side and the column we got on the other side have both cracked, and some of it's fallen out. You see all these cracks here? That's pressure. To get pressure to crack your columns, your roof has got to come down, and this is as bad as it gets. We're in risk of a major collapse. Oh, what do we do, Les? I don't even like being in here, Les. No, it's not worth dying for. Nah, can't spend it dead. Oh, uh, Les, what do you reckon our options are, mate? I reckon pull out of it and go somewhere else. We got too much life in us to get killed under. Oh, here, bloody mate. eight, yeah. I ain't gonna die doing this. Well, what we want to do is just get our digger out of here before the roof comes down. Could come at any time and we don't want to have it buried, so we're going to try and get it out. Take your roof jacks down. Alright, are you ready for a catastrophe, Les? Mm That's got us out of danger. At least if it comes down now, this won't be buried. And neither will we. Rod and Les have walked the digger north to safer ground, still following the fault line where they're most likely to find opal. Plenty of ground under here to dig. See if we can find another spot that might pay us some money. A foot in there. There could be 100,000. This one here potentially could deliver. Because anything on the fault line here produces. Man. What? I got the twitch. It's going to happen, mate. You yeah. watch. The opal fever tingle. When you start to get close, sometimes you get this little twitch, you know? And you start twitching, and you know it's not far, and I've been twitching. This is black opal country. As the most valuable opal in the world, it can be worth up to $43,000 per gram. You all right, Les? Yeah. I know, going a bit more. Take about six inches. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit of Tracy colour. It's just starting to make. It is, yeah. I'll undercut that side a little bit for you, Les. I'll do. All out. Nice seam, Les. Oh, heckle me grandmother, Les. Look at That's that. That's bloody good. We got quite a nice bloody electric bar on the top. And there's still more up here. Oh, this is it, Les. Life don't get much better than digging colour out of the wall, mate. After risking a mine collapse, the Bushmen have hit pay dirt, a rich seam of blue-green crystal opal. Look at that, Les. Bloody good, that green. Look at that. 
That's what I like to say. Oh, Liz. It's big and it's cheesy. Oh, oh look at this. How good is this, mate? All colour. We're going bloody great guns here. We've mainly got a grey base crystal. It's got patches that are very, very nice. All right, oh, Liz. Let's collect our wealth. Well, Liz. Let's we'll see what we got, eh? Let's see how rich we are. Right oh. This is it, Les. Moment of truth, mate. Better see what she weighs, mate. What are you betting? 600. 600? Not even close. Yeah. 368 grams. That's a real nice parcel of crystal, I reckon, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Put that on sandwich, you could eat it. I reckon I can get 15 for that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, happy with that? I'm happy with 15. And that's some bloody good stuff in there too. I like some of that. What I'm do you thinking, reckon? I'm thinking 20. 20? 20 for the bucket. Yeah, and it's 15 oh, for yeah. that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's 35, isn't it? Yeah. It was when I went to school. And that's a good week's pay. She's a bloody ripper, mate. The Bushman's two parcels of blue-green, grey-based crystal opal have a combined weight of 1.6 kilos and an estimated value of $35,000. With a 50% share, that's $17,500 for the Bushman. We're well and truly on our way to that season target. What's this? Oh, something good. Finally. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah, it's a nice little wagon, mate. Wow. What a beauty. I've got my new car, and I'm happy with it. It looks great. And now I can go down and see my daughters and my grandkids. That's been a priority for a fair while now. Up, up. Put me in. She's very bloody flash, Liz. She's a flash car, mate. You bloody even got brakes in this one, Liz. Well, the dogs seem to like it, Liz. Yeah, they're all happy. Ah, no, fella, see him fishtail it up the road. <laughs> it's just the start for us at Ploughboys. We're going to do very well out there, I reckon. <laughs> 